everyone. Welcome, Welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats. All right, guys, we are going through mac and cheese week here on 5 Minute Eats. And today we have a little bit different one. It's one that you don't really hear of a lot in the mac and cheese circles, I feel like. But nonetheless, it is a mac and cheese. So it is the Bear Creek Country Kitchen's Creamy Cheddar Pasta Mix, Hearty Rotini Pasta in a Rich Creamy Cheese Sauce. This comes in like a, a pouch thing. You just add water to your, your stove top, pour this in. Now this differs from a typical mac and cheese where you don't make the macaroni or like pasta separately, drain it and then add your cheese. This, you put everything all in at once and you kind of reduce down the sauce until it gets to a creamy kind of consistency. So that's what we've got here today. And it's also a rotini, which is, different, but still it's a mac and cheese. Now, one thing that I like about this is that on the on the package, it mm -hmm. looks like there's some sort of black uh, peppers Pepper. or something mm -hmm. like that. So yep. that's different from what we're used to. Yep. And you can see a little bit of the pepper in there. It might be difficult to see, but I did see it in the pan whenever I was cooking it too. And this one looks like there's a lot of cheese in there. Yes, it was quite a cheesy sauce whenever it was in the pan and I was like dipping it up. So guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. That's right, let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up we'd buy it again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a big thumbs up. I really like this. This is very creamy, a lot of cheese on there, a lot of cheese, and there's garlic, there's onions, so there's a few um, ingredients in there that's not something you normally taste in mac and cheese. Maybe they're in there, but you don't usually taste it, in my opinion, and in this one, you can taste it. It's really good. Wow. All and right. And oh. I just wanna <laughs> add, I'm not a big fan of mac and cheese, but I like this. Okay. So I am gonna give this one a big ol' thumbs up. This was really good, <laughs> like really, really good. And I gotta tell you, I kind of figured I would not like this one. I looked at it on the thing and I was like, all right, you know, it's mac and cheese, it's pasta. While I was making it, I was kind of thinking, I don't know about this. Even whenever I was looking at it in the bowl, I don't know about this. The first bite was just explosion of flavor. I was shocked because it tastes like a very well-developed cheese flavor. Like it's creamy, it's got depth to the flavor. It's not just a one note. It was almost kind of like, like a white cheddar mixed with like a sharp cheddar mixture. Like there, there was some different levels to the flavor. And then the seasonings, it is so well seasoned. You don't need any extra salt pepper, nothing. Oftentimes I feel like mac and cheese is one of those things where they kind of just leave it to you to like have to season it how you want it to be seasoned. And this is just, it's all done for you. This is freaking great. I was gonna say, there's also blue cheese in this. Oh, so, okay. So this is different. I Yes, I feel like that, you know what? I don't love blue cheese, but I feel like that adds to the flavor. Maybe that's what I'm thinking whenever I was thinking that it was like a, a different mixture of cheddar cheeses. This is, oh, wow, and really I have to, shocking. I gotta add something here. So <laughs> after we made this and this was sitting, this was sitting for what, maybe five, 10 minutes or something mm -hmm. like that. And visually I was like, oh great, it's yes. starting to get hard. Yes. And I was kind of like uh, marking a point <laughs> off for that. And then when we actually had it, it was still creamy. Yes. And I was shocked. So guys, to sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.